now we know our next guest for reuniting long lost families and helping uncover who's hiding behind the mask. <laughs> but now Davina McCool is showing off her talents as a matchmaker. Yeah, all this week, millions of us have watched new romances develop in ITV's My Mum, Your Dad, and last night the sparks mm -hmm. really started to fly. Eye contact, remember? <laughs> <laughs> oh, they look really cute together. Yeah, they do. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> oh no! We're going in for the hug. After falling in and helping each other back out of the water, it's custom for a peck on the cheek. Oh! Guys, I think after falling in, it is only custom to have a little kiss on the cheek, isn't it? Oh! Yeah. That was really cute. <laughs> That's good, they didn't even hesitate. <laughs> There's something about him that I find attractive. <laughs> Definitely some playfulness. And that is why Look we're all them. hooked, I know. Davina, Look hi. Look at that. It's, ha it's real. The eye contact yeah. and everything. <gasps> um, firstly, we've got to say congratulations. I'm just going to read a few here because I think that this is important. The Independent described it as groundbreaking. The Guardian and The Telegraph awarded it four stars, calling it hilarious and genuinely poignant. Thousands have said it's heartwarming and refreshing on social media. You don't hear stuff like mm. this anymore. You must be so pleased because mm. you championed this from the get-go. Yeah, I mean, I do feel like um, sometimes midlifers, in terms of kind of advertising or commercial things, we get largely looked over or ignored. And I think that that is old fashioned thinking because yeah. when you look at midlifers now, we are completely different to midlifers, maybe from one or even two generations ago. Yeah. Um, but dating in midlife, you know, sadly, divorce is a, a quite a high statistic. And um, I don't know what the statistic is, but a lot of people end up alone in midlife. Mm. Dating apps, we're not very good at those. Or you might go on a dating app when you've just put up for someone for all the wrong reasons. Mm. But actually, there will come a point where you think, I want to come home to someone. Yeah. You know, I want to hold hands with someone at the end of the day mm. or I want to watch TV with someone. It's Touching. just sharing your life. And Elliot, last night in the show, he came downstairs in the morning and this is one of the dads in the retreat and he said, oh, it's like Christmas. I, I, you know, no, I no, love being, waking so up to all these people because it's lonely when your kids leave home. Yeah. And if you're not with someone, it's tough. It is tough out there, I'll, I'll, I'll confirm that. Uh, Josie! <laughs> oh, <thanks. laughs> she always comes out, isn't it? In a time oh. of need, every time I go for a little dark spot in my life, Davina, you always <laughs> pop out from somewhere. Like, you're like my TV auntie, I was saying it in the green room earlier. Yeah. Um, but So how do the kids come in then? Because people sign up right. with their children. Yeah. How do they help their parents? So the kids nominate their parents for starters, so they drop them off at the retreat. And they're driving their parents like you would drive your kids to a party or something, and they're going, now, don't do that thing that you always do. Christian was going to his dad. Don't fall too fast. You always fall too fast. I mean, it's Clayton funny, did fall it? way too fast first day. It's yeah. Hilarious. Um, or, you know, don't be embarrassing. Or leaving Roger for Jess. Roger is... And the one you quite, quite fancy, Josie. <laughs> um, Roger... <laughs> Roger, yeah, yeah. Roger, I'm not, was I not supposed to say that. OK, sorry, sorry about that. Um, but Roger, uh, Roger lost his wife, you know, Aww. and just, just taking him to the retreat was like saying, I'm giving you permission There's to Roger start there. a new well, sort of side of, like, a new chapter to your life. Yeah. Everyone's fallen in love with Roger, yeah, haven't they? Yeah, has. You're not alone. I saw him yesterday. Okay. He was on um, Lorraine yesterday and I came upstairs and I saw Roger and his daughter and it was like, I just had to go and give him a massive hug. Yeah. And I think that's the thing about this dating show. You know, we watch Love Island, we watch other of these shows, but what this one changes is that you're slightly not expecting the emotion that happens. Yeah. You know, I last night say, there was a Vaughn with the... Yeah. Who just completely Monique, yeah. crumbled. Yeah. And it was tough to watch. I mean, what I like, it, I love Love Island. And Love Island has a very important place on telly. Oh, I'm obsessed with it. And it's young, it. and we're all obsessed with it, and we love it. This is... What's, what's good about this is it's different. Mm -hmm. You can love both, right? So there's no prize money. There's no cameras in bedrooms. And there's no real career at the end of it. What there is is love, yeah. potentially. But it is heartbreaking because we all get to midlife. You can't get to midlife, as you're experiencing now, without baggage. Yeah. yeah. You will come with heartbreak, you will come with grieving, you will come with anger, walls, you've built up all these walls. And, and the kids are trying to help secretly, because the parents don't know they're doing it, navigate their parents through this quite difficult experience and help them find someone. So when you've done this experiment, and it's not that I want to fast forward to the end, although I really want to know if anybody <laughs> myself, so I'm not going to ask you that, but what, 
is can you turn it around? You know, a lot of them are coming in and they keep saying, yes. I'm rusty and I've forgotten or my self-confidence is so low or I'm meeting the wrong person. Is that possible? That's such a good question. Thank you. Well, it's, it, is, it is scary, isn't it? You yeah. Think, I've built all these walls up and they're never going to come down. And you can turn it around. You know, you, you can get to a point where you think, I'm not going to ever let anyone in because mm. I've been so hurt. But actually what we showed was with a bit of work on yourself and with nice friends around you, they've all become friends, yeah. with nice friends around you to help you take those bricks down and show you that you're safe, you can change and let someone nice into your life. Yeah, good. It. And because there's no prize money, is, is you get the emotion behind it, you know, it, do you find that there's, there's no games? There's no games and there's no kind of, um, how am I going to look? Mm -hmm. I, I, like nobody cares. So they all arrive looking absolutely amazing in their show, sh you know, show clothes. And then what I love the next morning, all come to come down to breakfast. No one's got any makeup on. No one cares. Everybody's in their kind of bare feet, just walking around the kitchen. So it's re it is real. Um, tonight things get a little bit juicy. Yeah. Uh, we've got a clip from tonight's episode. Uh, so let's oh. have a little look, shall we? Yeah. <laughs> Hello, everybody. I mean, it was quite expected that there's going to be a guy at some point. It's Roger. Martin. Nice right, to nice. meet you, Roger. He's a good-looking guy. Whilst it's great to have new people in the house, it changes the dynamics, and that always shakes things up a bit. Monique. Monique. Nice to meet you. <laughs> you need to get down well, low. My mum's eyes lit up as well, because her first thing was, I want someone that is six foot and up, even though she's five foot two. Oh, yes. I mean, he's next level six foot and up. So he's like six foot seven, six foot eight. He's, he's a, a big, big man. Ex basketball player, pro. Okay. I like him. Martin. Yeah. Martin is lovely, but he's such a kind of um, big bear. But it's interesting how his height sends a couple of the guys like it, he's quite powerful because of his height. Right, right. So right, Clayton, right. you know, he's the one who falls hard and fast. He's a bit like, hang on a minute, what am I going <laughs> to yeah. do? I've yeah. got to kind of get in there. Oh. But then his children are there helping him along the yes. way. Yes. Would, would you leave your kids in front of... Like, would like let them board? choose. Yeah. You know, we had a discussion, me and Michael had a discussion with our kids. Who would you, who would you let choose? Me, for me, it's Tilly. She's not too emotional. She's sensible. She's quite hard. She's hard on me. She knows me very well. Is she the one that's Tessa most like you? to watch. <laughs> Um, I'd say Holly's very... Well, I'm very like all of them. They've yeah. all got a bit of me, but, um, yeah, probably Tilly would make the decisions. Good decisions. But I'm not... Doing free. that. Okay, <laughs> no, Michael, very much. Yeah. Yeah. Lovely, yeah. lovely yeah. chat. Yeah. We love yeah. him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, we all love him. Obviously, you two being back on the sofa. I know, it's so good, thing. isn't it? For Big Brother fans. I mean, it was the last Big Brother on Channel 4, I think, that you won, yeah. didn't you? Yeah, Davina was there. It was and amazing. I, they called my name. I thought, oh, dear, like, what have I done? <laughs> the first so let's just, well, you then, should explain what was happening <laughs> here. I got so excited. I started doing the running, but I, I think they might have a clip of it. Oh, God, let's <laughs> see it. <laughs> Josie Gibson. It's your first housemate, Josie! I was there at your birth. Is, I mean, in a time when lots of people aren't really real, Josie, the reason why you won oh, is because you. you are the Thank most me. real person I know. 100%. Do you remember John James? I remember John oh James. Of course God. I remember John James. Yeah. Was so yeah. funny. I was so in love with him. And you her. were so in <laughs> love with him. Obviously. <laughs> so it, obviously we know it's, it's coming back in a, a different form. It's yeah. going to finally be, be here. I mean, I was a massive Big Brother fan. You were my favourite forever, like we... forever and always. I mean, this is this is... This is such a great format and I'm so pleased it's yeah. coming back because so many other formats are scripted reality and there is nothing, nothing scripted in Big Brother. No, you no. know that. No producers come no. in to tell you what to do. The only person you talk to, which is always filmed, is Big Brother in the Diary. Yeah. And that is it. 
Can't so it's wait. really, incredible. really, really, really real. Really real. You go back to being like a child again. It's, yeah. it's incredible. Yeah. And I, I cannot wait to watch this show, Davina. It is uh, it's immense. Be... We needed something like this. Yeah. We really yeah. did. So, so true. thank you. My oh, mum, your dad, 9pm. It's on for the next two weeks on thank the weekdays. Um, and you can catch up the last two episodes. So nice ITF. to be here. Thanks. It's lovely. So lovely to see you. Thank you. Very nice to see you too.